Welcome back to Follow the Money. Is the Obama administration biased against Catholics? A congressional hearing is being held tomorrow to find out exactly why Obama's Health and Human Services Department dropped Catholic charities from a program to help victims of human trafficking and gave those millions in grant money to three other non-religious groups instead. Why? Joining me now is Representative Daryl Issa, who's leading that investigation. Thank you, uh, uh, Congressman, thank you for joining us. So tell us about this. So two and a half million dollars used to go to Catholic charities is being diverted to other charities. What specifically is their problem with the Catholic charities? Well, that's what we hope to find out. Clearly, when you have a merit-based, a numeric merit-based uh, system, in other words, competitive grants where people are rated based on their qualifications and performances, you would expect those numbers to match. In this case, Basically, Catholic Charities tied with the best of those, of those three, and the other two were far below, and in, in fact, probably really not qualified at all. But the decision was made to bypass them, perhaps for ideological reasons. We certainly think that's worth exploring. But more importantly, if your competitive grants don't have numeric or, or definable reasons where you say in advance what the criteria is and then you award them the most qualified, then what you have is presidential earmarks. And in this case, it's very clear. Appointees and subappointees of the president took a hand in making the decision right. to prefer some of these groups over Catholic charities. So, so uh, allow me, I, I mean to cut you off, but the, so there could be some cronyism sure. going on, but are they couching it? Are they hiding the politicizing of it in in saying, well, these other groups allow for abortion uh, counseling um, and, you know, sending people out to maybe Planned Parenthood, whereas the Catholic Charities refuse to do that. Is that part of the problem? If it's about promoting abortion, it's outside of Congress's authorization. So, again, it's a decision to put ideology through a political appointees over the recommendations of the career professionals who evaluate these grants. Again, the House under Speaker Boehner has completely eliminated congressional earmarks. We cannot substitute our not doing earmarks for the executive branch doing tens or hundreds of billions of dollars in earmarks, whether they're in Salandra type uh, unqualified loans that lead to huge losses to the American people or grants to less qualified organizations because ideologically or even campaign wise, they're connected to the president. It's very clear, Catholic Charities had done a very good job. They were well regarded, fully qualified, and virtually the, the highest number, and they were denied this opportunity, and we need to know why. Now, uh, Chairman, is there any indication that by Obama ch picking and choosing where these, these funds go, the administration, that is, uh, in, in, that may be endangering any of these victims? Well, clearly, when you pick the less qualified, you do exactly that. This, these people are the most brutalized and the most taken advantage of. This is human slavery. These people do not deserve to get less than the very best, most compassionate, most capable people to care for them when they're coming out of it. And there's no question at all that abortion was not part of the legitimate criteria for picking, and it should not be part of people getting the best care by the best caregivers. And last thought, sir, before we let you go, tomorrow you have a hearing. Uh are you going to are you going to uh, bring uh, Captain Sibelius to the to who are you looking to, to to hear from in the administration? Well, we are looking at at the secretary, and we believe that uh, she has to be held accountable for the actions of her political appointees and for the question of why would they overrule career people, people that were there before she came, should be there and will probably be there afterwards. If you have a legitimate reason tell us. If you don't, then as you said earlier, it's cronyism. All right, great. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Representative Chairman Issa. I appreciate your time, sir. My pleasure. Thank you.